Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to go over how to uh, use Rank Map, which is a really pretty awesome new WordPress plugin for SEO. I've been using Yoast for years, and um, sort of this one came came across my eyes, and um, it, it's getting a lot of good reviews. So um, yeah, no, I'm really digging it. So this is basically a quick rundown on how to work with it. It's very basic, very simple, um, very similar to uh, Yoast SEO. Um, so let's do that. So I'm just looking at this one article, best way to seal main waterline leak. So I think I'm going to use seal main waterline leak as our focus keyword. So to do that, <clears throat> uh, you need to plug it in, scroll down below the content box and uh, I'm just going to add in the key phrase and this is a bit of a long tail um, so which you know the more words you have that you're targeting um, actually the higher chance you're going to get rank with it um, so for this particular one I'm going to focus on that particular key phrase so we've got the focus keyword in there. So we've got our benchmark. Now we need to kind of tweak and adjust. And if you scroll down below that, it's going to give you a list of um, different scores that you are trying to improve. So it's pretty straightforward. A green checkbox means you're good to go. Um, the red X means you've got some work to do. So you just can kind of work your way down the list. Um, so Actually, where I like to start is the preview of what you're going to see in search engines. So seal main water leak, there's your title, SEO title, and then the SEO description, and then the URL is important too. So if we go into the title, I've already sort of tweaked this a bit. So seal main waterline leak. So I've got that string of keywords that I have established. And um, so we're good there. And then the URL, we're good there. And I did a description uh, that gave us a, a decent score here. So you can close that editor once you've done that. Uh, by default, when you create a brand new post, you're going to have to go in there and and, um, and edit that. Uh, otherwise, it'll generate sort of the default content that you'd have at the top of your page. Uh, I think Google's probably smart enough to recognize that if that's the information that's showing up, um, then they can tell that you've been lazy and didn't do your SEO meta title and description. So make sure that you do that. Otherwise, it'll, like I said, it'll just pull up the default content, which may not make sense. It may not be very appealing for people um, who are searching for whatever they're, you know, a good website that'll give them answers to whatever they're looking for. Um, so it's good to customize that. And of course, you don't want duplicate content either. So, um, okay, so yeah, just basically go through each one, use the focus keyword in the content. So you may have to kind of massage. Uh, one thing that wasn't in this particular post was an image. So we wanna make sure that we get an image in there as well and that it is titled accordingly that has the key phrases in it. Um, I'll just click on this to show you can add an alternative text to the image that should have the key phrase in it uh, the image title attribute i like to do as well uh, and this is when people hover over an image uh, it'll it'll have a little just basically uh, kind of like this i mean this is different with with google how they are now displaying uh, the tab information but um, but it's kind of that idea when you hover over an image it'll show a uh, little tag with whatever you put in here. Okay, so the other content is here. Now this particular post has no heading tag. So you always want to start, well, this title here is our H1 tag. By default, that's always going to be H1 with WordPress. Uh, but you should put in uh, a heading two. And maybe it would be um, question on
ceiling main water line leak. Okay. And you know, sometimes you're going to be a bit repetitive, um, but that's just the way it goes. Try to be as creative as you can so it doesn't look like you're just duplicating things everywhere. Um, and then I'm going to do an H3 tag as well. So I'm just going to put the best way to repair or to seal main water line leak. So I'm going to highlight that. We're going to make that heading tag three. So if we scroll down to our score, these folks give us subheadings like H23. I'm not sure why that's not showing my score yet. I'm going to update this article and maybe it'll pop up. Okay, I already see my score is totally jumped up. Yeah, so folks keyword found in subheading. So that's been checked off. Um, URL is 88 characters long, considering shortening it. So it's a pretty long URL. You don't want the URL to be too big. Um, one thing you can do when you're creating a new post, you can put in whatever title you want, and you can actually overwrite the URL. By default, when you put in a title and you publish it, it'll throw the title um, with words separated by dashes uh, in the URL extension. So it's basically what you see after your... Um, after your domain name. So this is important for SEO. Saying this one's a bit long. So we could potentially just instead of best way to, we'll get rid of that maybe. So we'll delete that and just have seal main waterline leak and you just hit okay. And now it's been shortened. You are also shortening it. Okay, now this could be due to the fact that we've got a parent category home improvement information right before it. Um, you know, we're just, we're going to live with that. Okay, another one here, your content is 241 words long. Consider using at least 600 words. Um, link out to external resources. Uh, so this would be good to link to maybe... Uh, in this particular site, it's kind of a directory of certified members, so you may want to link to uh, a pro professional's website um, that could basically fix the problem. Uh, in this case, uh, sealing a main waterline leak. Um, and then adding no follows to links pointing to external resources. So they're saying, oh, do follow. So have a have a mix of no follow and do follow, and that's for um, Google if they're going to kind of follow where you're linking to or not. So it's saying that a mix of that is good. Uh, keyword density is 0.41. The focus keyword in combination appears one time. So we want to get that showing up more. Add internal links in your content. Um, so linking in this article to another article that's related um, somewhere on the website is important. Um, your SEO title doesn't contain a number. Interesting. So headlines with numbers are 36%. I'm still getting the hang of this uh, rank map here, but headlines with numbers are 36% more likely to generate clicks according to research by conductor. Interesting. Um, and then you don't seem to be using a table of contents plugin. So this could be uh, beneficial to add as well. So some things that you can kind of look into. Um, but we started out with a score below 5. Now we're at 64 out of 100. So, you know, wasting hours and hours trying to get that 100, you, you know, you got to kind of use your judgment on that. Like, just don't go too crazy. But as long as you get it set up and then down the road, you can kind of fine tune and tweak um, as you see fit. So that's basically how to work with rank math. Uh, good practice for, for SEO um, when you're posting uh, blog posts and pages. Uh, like I said, I'm still sort of getting the hang of it. Um, I have noticed a difference in page rank um, using this compared to Yoast. So whether it's the tool or not, I can't guarantee, but um, 
the ease of use. Uh, and when you set up the plugin as well, it wires you right up with Google's uh, Search Console right away. So it just makes it a little bit easier with the setup. Um, so yeah, that's basically rank math uh, for beginners in a nutshell. All right, guys. Thanks.